This video is now brought to you by GeekRetreat.com Who oh, what's up people, Dobbs Rules is right here and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening. Before we start, please check out GeekRetreat.com in Berry. That's where I mainly go to. So if you want to say hello to me, if you guys live in the United Kingdom, come down to Berry. You might see me on and often if you see me in Geek Retreat. But anyhow, today we are opening up not one, but two Mega Tins of 2021 now as you guys know the 2022 tins are on its way possibly they might have already been released in the states but in the uk i think they come out next month if i recall and as you guys know this is being pre-recorded as you guys would know because it's september that you're watching it it's right now it's just hit may <laughs> yeah we just finished april and literally as you guys know you may be thinking, Dobsy, how do you know how do we know that you're pre-recording? Well, literally a few days ago, Tyson Fury just announced he's retired. So, yeah, so you guys know how how far, far past I've just gone back in time with. So yeah, it's massive news for us in the UK that Tyson dropped my tin again. That Tyson Fury is now retired from boxing. Which is to me, I do not mind. It was a good thing that he should retire now because he's won too many matches now and I don't think he needs to carry on fighting anymore. He's he's pretty much bought the best and that is it. Anyhow, two tins, six booster packs of of the mega tins. Now what am I hoping for in this in this um in these packs? There's one card that I really do want. Zeus. That's all I want, really. There is, of course, the spell card. There's two spell cards. There's one that looks like a chain card. There is one with a with a, like a female warrior on it. They're two. They're the th two big chaser cards. But like I said, I really want Zeus. Any of the others, we'll find out how much they are and the prices. People, you lot who be watching right now, like the guys from Geek Retreat. What's up, guys? You may tell me down the line on that I actually pulled a very good card. So anyhow, let's get this started. We got ourselves Code Talker. We got Ingdestia. We got Infer Noble Knight, Link Party. We got Multi Affer Densension, Witchcraft. We got ourselves a Super Rare Infer Noble Arms. We got Armory called Super Rare. <laughs> oh my god! What a start already for the Ultra Rare in Meta Card. Yes, one of the girls, the little girls. That's awesome. An Ultra Rare Ghost Marana and the Moonlight Chill. What? That is nice. Very good. Then we get ourselves Erica the Water Charmer. And the Ice Dragon's Prison! Oh, that's actually really, really good. That's actually a really, really good trap card, to be honest. A lot of people have been using this in a lot, a lot of decks besides the Ice Barrier decks. Very, very strong card. And we get Jar Jar. Misa, what's up? Who's that? Need the Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> we got Penguin Brave, uh, Junk Sleeve, Nature, Mummy, and the Rapting. The commons we've seen countless times because it's all from different sets. Because I don't remember what sets were actually in the 2021 tins. Uh, sets from Ignition Assault, um, Entony Code, Rise of the Duelist, and Phantom, May Phantom Rage. Oh, okay. So Ignition Assault. So was there um Nah it can't be. Lightning Storm is not in this set. Nah, surely not. If it is, that's ridiculous. If not, it should be the next year. But we won't know until we find out. But I don't really think that's there in that um Lightning Storm is in this set. And you might be thinking, why am I talking about Lightning Storm for for some weird reason? Because I just recently pulled out off camera in Geek Retreat, just ran a random day, just opened up a few random packs off camera, and I just pulled the Secret Rare Lightning Storm, which was insane. Anyway, next pack, we got some weird insects right there. We got Mar Marinus Basamea, Sk <laughs> Squeak Knight, that's cute. Nine Lives Cat, we got Arceus, Gokia, we got Titan Cider, a very, very common Super Rare in this set, it's ridiculous. Trap Tricks. Oh! Nadia Servant. That is actually a really good Ultra Rare too. For the Fallen Albers deck. That is actually really good. And a Burning Draw. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. For the secret. 
Tri Brigade Revolve. Oh my. Oh my goodness. This is insane, people. Really, really nice. I keep on getting Tri Brigades. That must definitely be calling me out saying, Dobsy, it's time to go full meta and get yourself doing Tri Brigades. It's a must. And just to tell you truthfully, people, I do love the Tri Brigades. I really do. I love the Tri Brigades. I like the new um, structure deck and all that lot. But I am not ready to really learn the full set of the Tri Brigades. I think it's too difficult to learn. Unless, if it is, it's going to take a long, long time for me to learn it. Anyway, third pack. That's nice. Two awesome Seeker Rares. And also, the Ultra Rares are absolutely amazing. we got Proxy F. Takedown, Link Party, Dark Templar, uh, Light Dragon, Battle Survivor. We got ourselves Vision Dragon, Super Rare. Lingaribo, there he is. Very good. I'll have that any day. We got True Light. Oh, wow. Wow, that was unexpected. Okay. That's really good for the Blue Eyes deck. We got Azure the Earth Chamber and the Secret. <laughs> Dogmatica Punishment. Oh man, what? This is this is getting ridiculous now. Three secret rares are actually really, really darn good. That's ridiculous, people. Very, very ridiculous. And we also got Union Driver for the rare, which is actually a good rare to be honest to get. And it's a good union as well. So let's sleeve up the secret. Sleeve up the ultras. And sleeve up the supers. And to be honest, I think I might want that Link Karibo for one of my decks, but it's also for Cybers. Oh, Ultra there, Super there, and the Super there. Okay, fourth pack. We've done one tin, we're now on the second tin. What else can we get? We got AI Reborn. They've got the Dropper, Witchcraft, TAI, Witchcrafters again. Oh, very good. This is not bad. Um, I've heard that this has actually been um, limited to uh, two copies now in uh, Dual Masters. Very good card. Uh, Magical Hound. That's a cool card. I like that. It's a bit of a homage to an old set back in the day. We've got ourselves another Earth Chamber. Oh! What is this? Trius, the Hero Seer? I've never heard of that card before. Wow! Wow, that's actually quite a strong card. And it's got a good effect too. Oh, let's go! <laughs> we get the Lord of Searing Flame, Uriah. Oh, what a lovely secret rare right there. That's definitely going in my personal collection. I'll take that. And of course, we've got a Virtual World Gate as well. Okay, that's actually a really good pack. And that secret rare right there, Lord of Searing Flame. I know a lot of people saying, Dobsy. They're awful cards. Why are you freaking out over that secret rare? It's the worst secret rare of all time. I love the sacred beast. You should see my personal treasure collection. Even though my treasure collection doesn't have a lot, a lot of expensive cards. Well, it does. But my absolute favourite cards like the gods and the beasts and the exodias and the dark magicians and blue eyes and red eyes. They don't really hold a lot of value. But for me, they mean everything to me. Goki Guts. Deep Sea. AIQ, Takedown, Lightcraft, Command, Arc Rebellion XC Dragon, very good super rare, Super Heavy Samurai Wagon, Dark Beckoning Beast, again for the Ultra Beast, again, that is really good for an Ultra. We got Risen Leonite, okay, this might be for the, um, for the, um, Spellcasters, that's cool. Whoa, I have not seen this one. For Rock Monsters, Adamantia Science. Oh, it's for the, the, the Risen card. Okay. That's a nice secret rare, to be honest. Don't know anything about it. And another one for the Rock cards. Okay, that was a whole Rock deck, rock pack right there. Okay. That was unexpected for me. I didn't have a clue anything about them, to be honest. Oh, I didn't sleeve up my Uriah for some weird reason. My bad. Sleeve him up. Very nice. Sleeve up the next secret rare. Let's do these ultra rares right here. 
Like I said, people, if you guys love the long videos a little bit, I know some of you don't like long videos because sometimes you, you guys do tune off, which I do know because I do know the algorithm too well. I look at the algorithm all the time just to see how the videos are doing. Make sure you like, like always. But like I said, if you guys love pack openings, the longer the video, the better. You don't want to do a short video of pack openings. It's quite freaking... It's too quick and it's boring. I'd rather do a lot of... A lot of packs with a longer video. Deep Sea, nice. We've got Frolic, Link Burst, Strike, Dark Temper, Jackabolon. We've got ourselves the Gamma Eltania, Deep Sea Area for the Ultra. Shadows, okay. A Quad Shadow Kias, not seen that one before. Trivagate Naval, okay. It's really want me to make sure. Uh, Shadows. And for the secret, Lady of Lamont. Okay. It's a fiend card. Not seen that card before, to be honest. That's not bad at all. Cool secret. And Union Driver again. Okay. And there are our normal hollow, normal cards. To be honest, though, what do I think out of them two tins? Absolutely amazing, to be honest. I think we pulled some good cards right there. You may disagree with me, but I think we did quite well. Tribrigades, of course, because everybody's using Tribrigades and people will pay a good hefty coin to get Tribrigade cards. But like I said, I bet your money, though, down the line, they will drop in value because everybody's playing with them. So everybody's going to get them and then nobody won't want them. Anyhow, let's see what we pull all together. First off, for the standard rares, I will fast forward a little bit for you guys. So you guys know what we've got. Then for the super rares, we'll go a little bit slower, so you guys know what we pulled. I think the best one out of these super rares, I think, is definitely Link Karibo, and of course, the Rebellion, and the um, Analyzer. Them three are the best, I think. The Ultrates, we've got the Shadol, Tri Brigade. I think the Tri Brigade is a good one there. I think that one is too. True Light is, of course, is another one. Definitely that one. And, of course, that one too. So, I think we pulled about five great Ultra Rares right there, I think, in my eyes. But the secret though, Secrets, though, I'm not 100% sure. I think we pulled two great Secrets, which is definitely, I think, is Soaring Flame. Actually, no. Yeah, we pulled four great Secret Rares, I think. I really do think they are. Anyhow, if you guys enjoyed it, I surely did. Make sure you smash the like button. We got one more Yu-Gi-Oh pack opening left to do, people, before we move on to Pokemon. And to tell you through, people, it's gonna be full of raw. Yes, that's a bit of a teaser for you guys. What's gonna be next? Anyhow, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure you check out geekretreat.com. And with that being said, the people I'm sticking with, see you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Oh, that was a good, good Mega Team pack opening. But next, the final pack opening of Yu-Gi-Oh for the month. Rage of Raw. I like getting these. These are nice. I don't have a clue what the volumes are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah! <laughs>